Imam Al Hussein Salam Allah alayhi, had several children after his death, several daughters. But one daughter was unique. One daughter in her love to her father was unique. She had so much love to her father. And subhanallah, that particular daughter has the largest shrine today. The largest shrine. And may Allah protect her shrine. The enemies try to demolish it. The others also have shrines. But this daughter of Imam Al Hussein has the largest shrine of all his daughters. Although this daughter may have been the youngest alive after his death. Throughout the journey from Karbala to Kufa, Kufa to Shah, she would be hit and she would call Amma Zainab, Aina Walidi Al Hussein. My aunt Zainab, where is my father, Abi Abdullah? Why would he let those people hurt me? He always looks after me. And her aunt Zainab would comfort her. Would tell her, my little girl, your father has gone on a long journey. Inshallah, one day you'll be reunited with him. So she comforts this little girl. Hamid ibn Muslim says, I saw a little girl of Abi Abdullah al Hussein running in the desert. I approached her. I told her, young lady, what are you doing? Where are you going? She looked at me. The minute she saw me, she became frightened. She said, Ya Sheikh, hal anta lana am alayna? Are you with us or against us? I told her, young lady, I'm neither for you nor against you. Don't worry. What do you want? She said, Ya Sheikh, take me to Najaf. I told her, what do you want in Najaf? She said, I heard from my aunt Zainab that we have a grave in Najaf. Anyone who experiences difficulty can go to that grave in Najaf and he will protect him. He will take care of him. I want to go and tell him that we are in a great difficulty right now. Cannot protect us. Come and help us. He said, young lady, Najaf is too far from here. I cannot take you to Najaf. She said, in that case, take me to the river of Furayat. He said, okay, that I can do. I took her hand to the river of Furayat. The minute she saw the body of her uncle, Abil Fadl al Abbas, she threw herself on the body of Abil Fadl and she cried, Aywa Amma, Aywa Zayata, Oh my uncle Abu Al-Fadl Get up and see how difficult Our life has become after you This little girl one night in Sham She wakes up in the middle of the night Who is this little girl? Ruqayya, the daughter of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. She wakes up in the middle of the night crying عم زينب أين والدي الحسين Oh my aunt Zainab, where is my father Abi Abdullah al-Husayn? This little girl, she was comforted by her aunt. She told her, my little girl, your father is gone in a long journey. Then the camp started crying, weeping. The news reached the palace of Yazid ibn Muawiyah. He said, what is the matter? Why are they crying? They told him one of the orphans of Abi Abdullah al Hussein woke up in the middle of the night crying, asking for her father. He said, then take the head of her father to her. They took the head of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. They kept it on a plate. They covered the plate. And then they took it to this little girl. When this little girl saw the plate, initially she thought there is food in the plate. She said, Muhammad Zainab, I don't want food. I want my father, Abi Abdullah al Hussein. She told her, my little girl, remove the cover from this plate. She removed the cover from the plate. And instead of seeing food, she saw the head of her father, Abi Abdullah al Hussein, covered in blood, severed from its body. She threw herself on the head, crying, Aywa Abataya, Aywa Husayda. 
Oh father, this is your daughter Ruqayya. Oh father, you always took care of me. Oh father, why is your head severed from your body? Why is your beard covered in blood? Oh father, who will look after us? Who will look after your orphans, Ya Abu Abdullah? And then she continued to cry, Aywa Abata, Aywa Husayna. Until she went into a deep silence. At that moment, Imam al-Sajjad salam turned to his aunt Zainab. Remove my sister Ruqayya from the head of my father. Oh, Amma Zainab, for now she has joined my father, Abi Abdullah al Husayn. Zainab alayha salam ran to this little girl. She removed her. She started turning her around. Maybe there is life left into her, but the girl was lifeless. She held her in front of Abi Abdullah al Hussein and cried, Akhi Hussein, Anzur ilayna. Oh, my brother Hussein, look at us. Look at your daughter, Ruqayya. Look at your sister Zainab. And then when the caravan went back to Karbala, it is said Zainab came to the grave of Abi Abdullah al Hussein crying, weeping. And then some poets try to put this kind of form. They say Zainab came apologizing to Abi Abdullah al Hussein. Zainab, why are you apologizing? Ya Abu Abdullah, you told me to take care of your children. And I tried to take care of them, but your daughter Ruqayya was left back in Sham. I buried her, Ya Abu Abdullah. Ya, 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 سيعلم الذين ظلموا أي منقلب ينقلبون والعاقبة للمتقين